Hello, I'm going to show you how to set up your Chula Futuro and your Chula Explore, which are pretty much the same, except the Explore offers the facing out option. So you've got these buttons here at the front, so you can make the base narrower so you can fit your baby facing out. Uh, other main difference is that the Chula Explore has got a little headrest here. Okay, so for small babies, for Chula Explore, just leave the head, headrest down. As they get bigger, you can unclip and then bring it and clip it inside a little bit higher up. For the free to grow, we're just going to adjust the height. So in both of them, you have poppers inside the waist belt. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's the hood, I'm just going to remove it. So you've got a set of three poppers, one, two, three. And then you're just going to fit it so that the base fits your baby from nippet to nippet. So covers all the way across the bum, all the way to inside of the knee. Um, so for my baby, I just need to be on the first setting because it's quite small baby, it's about three months old. For newborns, also first setting, as your baby grows, you just make it wider and wider to fit your baby. Once you reach maximum, you can buy extenders so you can make the base a little bit wider and that make your uh, carrier last a bit longer. Okay, so now I've set up this, I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna bring the waist belt on my waist, not on my hips, on my waist. And I'm gonna go to my back, grab the buckle. And I'm gonna bring the buckle through this elastic band for safety. So in case something happens, comes off the elastic band, we'll just keep it in place. Clip. Make sure you hit that noise, very important. And then I'm going to bring the background and I'm going to grab the webbing on the waist belt and give it a little pull. Same way it comes, don't go like this or like that, so it won't come. Give it a little pull until it's nice and comfortable. Now there's lots of different ways to put it on. You can do whatever works for you. The way I do it is that I clip the chest strap, which is the, the strap that goes between your shoulder blades to hold the straps together to avoid them slipping on your shoulder and creating a risk of your baby falling. You will want the chest strap to be roughly between your shoulder blades so not too high, not too low because that can create a bit of pressure. I'm going to set it for me. Ideally get somebody to set it for you so once you've got it on just get somebody to slide this bit up and down until you reach between your shoulder blades so it's just set up for you. If you're going to switch between users, again, just make sure you've got it set for yourself. It's not the end of the world if it's not set properly, it's just more for your comfort. I'm going to start by loosening the shoulder strap. So to loosen, you're going to just lift this little tab like that. And then that gives you some slack. To tighten, you just pull. So just lift like this. Like that. When you buy this new, it's going to be quite noisy at the beginning. The webbing is going to get softer as you use it, so don't worry too much about it. Okay, the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to put it on and I'm going to slide my baby in. So I'm going to bring the chest strap over my head and arms through the shoulder straps, leaving enough room for my baby, so that's going to be a bit tight. So I'm just going to lift this tab and make it a little bit looser, like this. So now I've got in a room, I'm going to bring baby on the shoulder, my shoulder, like this, like in a burping position, quite high on the shoulder. Support baby, bring your hand under the webbing like that, and I'm just going to grab the legs and I'm going to slowly lower baby and start bringing the legs through the holes and let my baby's bum drop quite low down, like this. So that I've got some good M shape positioning with the bum lower down the knees. And also it means that the panel will fit nicer if your baby's sitting very deep down. So don't hesitate, especially if you have a small baby, to just let the bum drop over the waist belt until you're nice and comfortable. Okay, now I'm going to retighten. So Chula Free to Grow the next was really easy to tighten. You just grab the straps and then you pull forward like this. And then your chest strap should be roughly between your shoulder blades. I'm going to check the height of the panel. So this you need to do just once, once you've set it. 
as your baby grows you might have to really adjust it so with this tab here this will make the panel grow taller like this so make sure it arrives just under your baby's earlobe like that with the explore you don't have this the adjustment is made with the headdress so as your baby grow you just bring it higher up or lower down just make sure with the headdress you don't cover the face it's very important so now i'm going to check it's even and i can see my baby's face there you go it's my gorgeous baby keep your baby's arms towards their face and then make sure your baby's comfortable there's no pressure around the knees if you find your baby sitting too straight you bring your hands inside and then just wriggle them down like that until there's no pressure. If you have any red marks or anything like that, it probably means that position is not quite right. So do a good pelvic tuck by rubbing the bum, letting the bum drop over the waist belt and then the knees are higher than the bum. It's very important. Okay, this is the hood. If you don't like it, you can just remove it, there's poppers inside. It's quite handy if it starts to rain or when the baby's on your back and the head goes back a bit you might want this to give you some support if you use the hood make sure you don't cover the face so the way I do it is I usually only use half or just fold it like this and then you've got poppers here hard to see because it's all very dark and then you just pop it like this to support the head but you can do that to give you a bit extra support as always make sure the airways are always clear baby close enough to kiss so I can see the airways at all times. The sling is tight and it's tight because if I lean forward holding the head, my baby's body stays nice and close to me. If my baby's body is coming away from me, it means I need to tighten a bit more. Okay? So don't hesitate to do that. And that's it. So that's it for front carry. You can also do back carries, but you can see that in a different video. I'm going to show you how to take your baby out. So lots of different ways to do it. For some people, they're very friendly so they can just unclip like that others will need a bit of help so you might want to loosen by lifting and pulling at the same time support baby lift the strap you just loosen and that will bring the chest up right at your neck and clip and your baby will come out you can also just loosen and then just lift your baby out whatever technique works for you the chillers are really amazing carriers however they don't fit everybody some people find reaching the loosening system on the down plate here to be quite difficult so i really advise you try it before you buy it's very important if you find it's too much for you then you might want to go for a carrier that's got buckles right on the front so and there's lots and lots of options but go to your nearest leading library <laughs> they've got everything thank you very much for watching bye